Hello everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to set the PPoE interface under FortiGate and uh, the intravilla routing. So let's go. So first and first, for set the PPoE interface, uh, we need to access the console and we need to uh, digit uh, digit some command. Nothing special. So admin, because you need to do that, because otherwise under GUI, under the GUI, you don't see the PPoE interface. interface. So in my uh, lab, the PPoE port is port 4. So edit port 4. And here you're going to set set mode PPoE and press enter and then type uh, end. That's all. I'm not going to do it because my port is already set. So when you did that, you go to the web GUI and uh, type admin. Let's see if it works because otherwise I'm going to open the, the other one. Uh, sometimes it's stuck. So admin, admin, and the password, admin. So at this point, when you get access, we will see this one. So under interface, port 4, obviously you have to select so double click or one click and then edit up to you and uh, you see i got ppo interface my interface is already up as you can see i'm receiving the ip from uh, the router in uh, it's called milan or milano in italian then uh, username admin and the password admin that's all i received my connection now the intravilla routing. So in Cisco, when you you set the interface, there is a tick. Then you say basically all interface with the same security level allow the access, right? Now, in uh, FortiGate, uh, instead there's not really like that. So under policy and object, you have to do that. For example. In my case, if I'm open PC uh, 14, then it's in VLAN 20, and I'm trying to ping uh, a computer in uh, VLAN 90. So in this case, is 192.168.90.3. Then you see it works because obviously now the root, the intravilla routing, uh, it works. So for achieve this one, you simple. You have to do well. Simple. It's a very big word because uh, you have to do the policy in both of way. So, for for example, if you look at this, you see intravilla routing uh, because obviously this is the name I choose. Twenty to ninety sorts all uh, can be very specific if I want, but in this case all destination all and the service all and. Uh, I have another policy here, intravilla routing 90 to 20, address this one is specific instead, this one I put general, this is specific, but I put like this just for uh, obviously video purpose. Destination VLAN 20 and the service all. Let's see how the, the, the policy look like. Now, this is the only way I found. If somebody else have another way, more, ma, you know, more faster, please let me know. Because uh, otherwise, uh, if you have, uh, you know, for example, 50 VLANs, you need to create 100 uh, policy. Okay, it's very granular and speci specific like this, but you never finish to configure this firewall. And uh, I try to find uh, on the wiki, and uh, he, he had the settings, but uh, 
uh, I didn't find anything special uh, regarding this so please if you know something more let me know so basically the name uh, okay I choose incoming interface villain 20 outgoing interface villain 90 source all all and uh, service all so once you press ok as I showed you the routing it works in both way uh, let me see show by p because I don't remember dot three so going to ping this one <laughs> and uh, let me see pc11 and uh, ping 192.168.20.3 uh, that's all and then you see in both of way it works because if you don't do that only one way it works and obviously is not the most uh, beautiful configuration for this part I think is everything uh, regarding intra villa routing so in the end of the way um, sorry in the end of the day uh, the configuration itself it's very simple there is nothing special uh, in my opinion it take too much uh, it's too much longer um, and then maybe it's not uh, really fast to set like this but apparently it works in this way usually I'm not using a forty gate I'm using uh, most of the time Palo Alto and Checkpoint and uh, Cisco too so uh, I prefer uh, Cisco because I have the tick then uh, I'm setting the same level security and the routing bam is already active Palo Alto is almost the same this one uh, it don't seem so but uh, again if you know more please let me know and uh, and that's all so you know how to set the PPO interface how to set the intravilla routing of course for internet you have to set let me see where is uh, networking uh, no this networking is here static root uh, I got two root two roots here one uh, the default root to static root for the PPO interface then I say the the gateway is not reachable at the moment because uh, so basically the configuration has been done yesterday I need to check if is everything okay because I will uh, have to keep going to set all lab but first moving uh, before sorry before moving on this part of the lab so VPN between Palo Alto and FortiGate uh, Cisco and FortiGate uh, between uh, uh, Cisco and Palo Alto before do that uh, I will set uh, Windows Server as the main controller because one user uh, asked me if I can show from the beginning from the scratch how to set uh, the domain controller so Windows Server then uh, I'm going to activate the PRTG so and then we need to set the switches for the you know for receiving the SNMP then we'll see uh, how it look like on PRTG this small lab and then after that uh, I will move on uh, with the VPN for the other firewall and routers and the BGP part the BGP is actually already conf configured so I shouldn't take very long of the video so for now is everything thank you for watching